G'day everyone, welcome to Ben's Breakdown, where I break down the technology, or it breaks me. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at Blender 3.1 and see how it performs on the M1 Max and M1 Pro, as well as putting it head to head with the Legion 5 Pro that you see behind me. Hands down, the most exciting feature of Blender 3.1 is we now have metal support and can finally see what the new M1 GPUs are truly capable of in a program like Blender. That's a big deal. Yes, it is, Johnny. And as most of you would know, 3D rendering has never been a strength of Max. And I think deep down in Apple's chest cavity, they knew they were failures. Rich dense hairline failures. So let's go see if all that hard work will make these new MacBook Pros the proiest of them all. So what are these computers packing? First, we're gonna start off with a 14 inch M1 Pro that starts at $2,999, has an eight core CPU, 14 core GPU, 16 gigs of unified memory, and a 512 gig SSD. Next, we have the Legion 5 Pro with an RTX 3070, the Ryzen 7 5800H, 32 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD. And lastly, we have the most expensive, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, a whopping $5,249. We're in four ply toilet roll territory, people. These prices are not for the faint of heart. It's got a 10 core CPU, a 32 core GPU, 32 gigs of unified memory, and one terabyte of SSD storage. This should give us a broad look at how the M1 Pro and Max perform along the price spectrum, as well as see how they fare against a full powered RTX 30 mobile. So let's begin the challenge. In the classroom test, we see a clear winner-winner chicken dinner with the Legion 5 Pro shattering the cankles of the M1 Max in just shy of 4.8 times faster at 22.11 seconds versus the 1 minute 45 on the Max. And the base model M1 Pro is getting a participation award at 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Next is the BMW test. The beating continues with the Legion 5 Pro taking a clear shot to the clavicle of the M1 Max, completing the test in 11.29 seconds, a good three times faster. The M1 Pro got distracted looking for Christmas presents or something and finished in one minute and 22 seconds. For our final render test, we're looking at the barbershop. The M1 rendered 900 samples in nine minutes and 12 seconds. The M1 Pro completed this test in 22 minutes and 30 seconds, and the Legion 5 Pro has taken home the Golden Blender at 1 minute and 38 seconds. So, at least when it comes to rendering, the Legion 5 Pro is the proiest of them all, and wins the highly coveted Golden Blender. Well done, buckaroo. You made me feel better. You feel better. Now, it might seem like I'm throwing a heap of shade at these new M1 Max and the Mac Pro, but the truth is that these computers are leagues above what the previous predecessors were like. Previous predecessors? Isn't that the same thing? For example, a 2018 MacBook Pro with an i7-8750 processor completed the classroom test in 15 minutes and nine seconds, which puts the M1 Max 8.7 times faster than that computer, and it can do it on battery over and over and over again, which is something a gaming PC couldn't hope to do in its wildest dreams. 
The other thing to consider is that this is an alpha version of 3.1. So I imagine as updates roll out, the M1 Pro and M1 Max will continue to get faster and faster, which also seems like the case for the RTX series of graphics cards, like the one on the Legion 5 Pro, and I'm assuming AMD as well, but I haven't had a chance to test those. If you have an AMD graphics card and you've used 3.1, maybe leave a comment below and see how it's performing. If you enjoyed this Blender video, you might also like this one. I think I'm pointing in the right direction. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone and hope you have a Merry Christmas. My kind of quality.